Hello and you are welcome back again to this YouTube channel. So this video I'm going to be talking about the requirements that you need to get started into mobile software repairing business. So this is a good field and if you are looking into getting started in mobile software repairing, this video is going to be helpful as in it's going to give you the basic requirements that you need to get started. It's going to be a short video. And I'm going to make sure I highlight the biggest points, the things that you need to get started. And you'll be surprised how you can start this business with a little investment, with just the things that you literally have at home. So just to make sure there are some things that I'm not going to mention into this video. For example, uh, running uh, a shop or I'm going to rent a shop where I'm going to be working from, uh, paying taxes to a local government, authorities so i'm not going to be mentioning that but i'll be talking about the basic requirements for you to get started and in the following video i'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what i'm talking about in this video so this is going to be the beginning and i'm just going to start right now so what do you need to get started into mobile software repairing so if you've been a technician out there and already repairing phones in hardware so it's good to grab this knowledge because it will save you someday, right? So this video is going to be an entry level. So if you are an expert in this field, you may want to skip this video. So let's get started right now. So you are going to get started as a mobile software repairing. So in the mobile software repairing business, you basically need to have your computer and the phones that you're going to repair, right? As long as you have the right tools, you have the knowledge you need, you'll be good to go. So let's get started. The requirement that you need, number one, you need a laptop or a desktop computer. So whichever computer that you have, as long as it's a running computer, is going to be useful in this field. Make sure you have at least installed Windows 8 or above. So with just a laptop or a desktop computer, you'll be good to go to start this business. So talking about the investment, this is partly uh, the biggest investment that you are going to put in. I'm not considering rent guys, I'm not considering taxes and, and all that, but you just need to have your laptop and you'll be good to go. Because in the following videos, I'm going to show you the free softwares that you can actually use to do most of the jobs, right? So the next, thing that you need is driver installation so once you have the computer with you then you are going to make sure that computer is ready to start uh, doing these jobs so you're going to make sure that computer is ready to start unlocking phones and by doing that you're going to need to install drivers so drivers are particular softwares that will help you connect your phone to the computer so usb drivers help the computer to discover your mobile phone and without drivers your phone cannot be discovered so without these drivers if you don't install these drivers into your computer it, the moment you connect your phone the computer will not discover it and there are lots of drivers and i'll be talking about them in the subsequent videos uh, but uh, to be brief, you would need to install almost all drivers. Qualcomm drivers, SPD drivers, uh, Samsung USB drivers, Oppo USB drivers, MediaTek, MTK uh, drivers, Huawei, Intel. So most, as long as you know, in the community where you are, you expect to get those type of phones, then it would be a good idea for you to install their drivers so that the moment you get to a phone, your computer should be able to discover it. What else do you need? Now, after you have installed the drivers, you would be good to go. And the third thing that you are going to need, you will need different softwares for phone unlocking. I'm telling you, softwares are many. Many softwares are free of charge. Other softwares are paid. Most of softwares require boxes, like as you can see, these are boxes for 
for different softwares and other softwares do not require boxes. It will be just as easy as installing it in your computer and you'll be good to go. So these other boxes out of hardware that you need to connect to your computer so that the software in your computer can run, right? So you might need them, you might not need them depending on the particular function you want to do to the phone, right? So going on, uh, you also want USB data cables. So USB data cables basically will help you to connect your phone to the laptop. So these are as simple as our normal data cables, right? The micro USB cables and type C cables or iPhone cables. So these cables are accessible, they are available, and you would need them to basically connect your computer to the mobile phone. And once you have the cables, you'll be good to go. So you will lastly need the knowledge. And the source of knowledge, I'm going to be providing it here on this YouTube channel. And you can get knowledge all over the internet. You can get knowledge by watching YouTube videos. You can get knowledge by doing Google searches or learning it from someone else who is doing it. So in the next videos, I'm going to be showing you and giving you the right knowledge that you need to get started as a mobile software repairing technician. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that the next video I publish, you get notified and you check it out. So in the next video, I'm going to show you after you have installed the right drivers, how do you identify the chipset that is in the phone that you are going to work on. So if you like to check that video, I'm going to put it up right here and you can check it out and see how you can identify the mobile chipset. So that is it guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.